Hello everyone, this is Lori Hargis. How many of you are suffering from stress? Stress impacts our emotions and how we feel and thus impacts our microbiome in our gut. Right now in the world, a lot of things are upside down and this all has an effect on us. You know, I know me, I try not to watch the news, right? So it doesn't have a big effect on me, but it still does because I hear people speaking about it. I have to, I discuss it with other people, right? I don't hide my head in the sand. And so thus what happens is when the stress comes in on our energy field, we then begin to have more emotional problems. We can't sleep. We become anxious. And then that leads into depression. And then our physical body is affected, our immune system, and really our microbiome in our gut. We start colonizing more bad bacteria in our gut than good bacteria, just due to the stress and the emotions and not being able to relieve the stress. So this month we felt that November was a time for us to look at the essential oil of clove and how it can help you with your brain and your gut, right? So clove essential oil, due to its chemical constituent eugenol, has wonderful properties. So what it does is emotionally, it helps you think positive, because when you take a short sniff of clove, which I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna grab my bottle of clove. It just instantly revives you. Okay, it, it picks you up, doesn't it? And it has this nice warm aspect to it. So it makes you not feel isolated or lonely. And when you're feeling sad and you're grieving, clove is something that will pick you up. Also, it revitalizes you mentally and increases your memory. Clove essential oil also, it helps with your gut health due to its antioxidant properties. So that means it helps with free radicals. It goes out when you sniff it, when you massage it on your body. And remember, clove's powerful, so you can only use one to three drops to 30 mil, which is one ounce of carrier oil and massage it on your body. And it's antibacterial, it's antiviral, and it's antiseptic. So it's gonna help kill the bad bacteria and it's gonna help your immune system be resistant and strong. So when we have all this exterior stress going on in our lives, it's a really good essential oil to be using. Plus we're in fall, so people are getting viruses, they're picking up colds, different things like this. And it's a time of year where we're, you know, we're going towards the holidays. So people start feeling lonely. It's a known fact. So this can be really helpful if you have a friend who lives alone or just in general feels lonely to use clove oil to help pick them up. And they can take just three drops in, in one ounce of carrier oil, 30 mil of carrier oil like almond oil or apricot oil, massage it on their chest, massage it on their solar plexus, their gut, and the back of their neck. And it is so helpful. And just taking a short sniff out of the bottle, just like I did. Ah, oh, wow, it's lovely. So if you want more information about clove oil, 
you can purchase my book, Common Sense, A Practical Guide to Aromatherapy. And there's all kinds of information about clove on page 72. And then also in our blog post below, you can check out uh, more information about clove and a special recipe. We have a special chai recipe for you. So you can make a wonderful chai tea to keep you warm, feeling cozy this fall. And especially this month in November, because as things start getting colder, we're gonna need something to warm us up. And Clove will do that for you. Can't wait to see your comments and on how you use Clove essential oil. Don't forget your essentials. Use your common sense. Au revoir.